Hi, everyone. It's Rashonda Pratt, known in the digital streets as the Rose Show Live, author, visibility coach, helping you to create and leverage your visibility with live video and local media because your visibility is power and you're watching Visibility is Power TV. Make sure to hit that subscribe button because today I'm talking about four ways to appear more confident on live video. You're going to want to share this out with a friend because I am dropping some serious nuggets for you today. Listen, I love live video. I love what live video can do for you as a coach, a speaker, a consultant, an author. Live video gives you the capability of building impact, influence, and income. And I love all of those things when it comes to your visibility. Did you know 80% of people rather engage with live video than read a blog? 80% of people. Live video is not going anywhere. In fact, what I teach my clients, if we're building a house, live video is the foundation. Everything else builds around it your message, your marketing, your media plan. It all centers around live video. But I know for a lot of you, it's kind of tough to hit that go live button. You don't feel confident. You're nervous. What do I say? What do I do, Ro? So today I want to share with you four ways to appear more confident when it comes to your live video. So let's get started. Number one, be your biggest fan. Be your biggest cheerleader. I know this should probably say, no, let your audience be your biggest fan. Let your audience be your biggest cheerleader. No, no, and no. You be your biggest fan. Practice in front of the mirror. And when I say practice, practice by embracing all of who you are. And even if you make a mistake, own it. No worries, because that's what makes you human. That's what makes you real. I can't begin to tell you how many times I have done a live video and my ring light fell. One of my kids, especially my little toddler, wandered in the back. Don't try to pretend and act like it's not happening. Embrace it because people want to be a part of that. So be your biggest cheerleader, your biggest fan. And then here's another thing. Here's a bonus to number one. Involve other cheerleaders, a part of your team. So if you're just starting off doing live video and you're really nervous because no one's showing up or it's just that one person, invite a really good friend to join you in the comment section. Tell them, hey, Beth, me, Tamara, I'm going live. Erica, join me here live and have them in the experience with you. That's going to help you feel really confident. Number two, self-care. I know you're thinking, what does self-care have to do with my live video confidence? Everything. Because your health and your mood can impact the quality of your stream. Think about it. If you're tired, if you are overwhelmed, you are not going to give your best. You're not going to be able to focus. So take care of your mood ahead of time. Make sure you're putting on your favorite soundtrack, whatever that is, you know. Sometimes it's a little Bob Marley for me. Get yourself hyped up, right? Or pick a time of day you know that's a real energy booster for you and decide that that's the time that you will go live because you feel your best. So self-care is so important. Number three, this is a big one. Maintain eye contact. Just like in real life, right? Eye contact really helps you to feel confident and makes the people who are watching you feel like they're having a conversation with you, okay? So that camera lens right here is the eye of a friend who is watching you. So make sure you're maintaining eye contact. Don't stare. Yeah, don't do that like a deer in headlights. But it's recommended that you hold eye contact for no more than five seconds. So just like if you were here with me in person and I would give you my undivided attention by making eye contact with you, do the same when it comes to you being in this live video capacity. And last but not least, in our four ways that you can have more confidence on live video, be prepared. Yes, plan out your live experience. How are you going to start? Where are you going to go next? What is your call to action? This is one of my favorite things. You plan the experience before you have the experience. And one of my favorite hacks is to use an index card. So on one side of the index card, 
It's the flow of the show. What do I want to do? What's going to be happening next? What is my call to action? But it's also writing down my main points, not like a script because you don't want to sound like a robot, but writing down your main points so that way you can remember that when you finally get here in front of the camera. Now, these are four ways to look more confident on camera, and I believe in these will help you when it comes to your visibility. Now, for more support, check out the comment section and make sure to download my freebie for you, 40 ways, yes, 40 ways that you can be seen, heard, and paid right now. Yeah, that's right there available for you in the comment section. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe so that way you get all of the notifications when I drop a new video just for you. Your visibility is power, my friend. This is the year you deserve to be seen, heard, and paid. You can make the impact, the income, and the influence that you desire, but we've got to step into this visibility. I am Rashonda Pratt, known online as The Rose Show Live, author and visibility coach, helping you to be seen, heard, and paid. Your visibility is power. Don't you forget it.